something. If you want to master something, uh, you have to spend 10 years. Uh, and that's if you and that's if you spend two, I think it was like 2.5 hours a day. So if you spend 2.5 hours a day doing something, you become a master after 10 years. How hard it is to master something. I mean, first of all, 2.5 hours a day is a lot of time that many people don't have. You know, I think the majority of our members are uh, older members, uh, thus likely have families, full-time jobs. So to dedicate 2.5 hours a day to something is probably not very realistic for the majority of our members. So when you, you, you think maybe you only have an hour a day, let's say, to, to dedicate to trading, well, then that suddenly might be 20 years to master this. I know now maybe you're looking at this thinking, oh, I'm 70 years old, uh, 20 years to master this, I'll be 90. Uh, but hey, if, if you're 19, you master trading, you're 19, you master trading, right? <laughs> uh, it's uh, nothing to be bad. It's, it's, a, it's a positive thing. If, if I was 90 years old and I was like, yeah, I've mastered trading, I'd, I'd be a happy 90 year old man, you know? Um, so I think it's just important though to go back to that like that 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 quote or, or statistic again of like it's going to take a long time to actually be very 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 good at this. Uh, again, there are exceptions where people can do it quicker. Of course, there are, but uh, you know, generally speaking, you know, that's a statistic in life in general, not about trading. But yeah, ten years, two point two point five hours a day to master something. So um, you know, if you have this unrealistic expectation that you're going to become rich in six months, that you need to you know pay off your mortgages through trading this year, you know you are adding all this unrealistic expectations and pressure to yourself. You know you can see how this becomes a very easy spiral to lose all your money, right? I, I do think uh, I would always say trading isn't gambling, but it for sure is gambling for the vast majority of people. You know, a lot of people just come in here, gamble away money. And, and that's where we see the stories. Hey, I took out a loan to trade and I've lost it all. How, how do I tell my family? You know, you, you really need to be um, really mentally switched on. And that's why we always tell people demo trade, right? Uh, before you do anything else, be good at demo trading. Um, because you don't need to unnecessarily throw away money. You know, you want to learn first, whether it takes one year, whether it takes 10 years. Learn first, prove yourself, then start to trade, right? Um but yeah, I've wanted to talk about routine, but again, I, I might do that next week. You have to let me know whether you've enjoyed this last segment. I, I don't know whether it'll be appreciated or not. <laughs> if it has, then I'll talk about routine because I, I've done some new routines in terms of trading and I, I do think it will be beneficial, but um, yeah, you'll have to let me know. I'm going to wrap up this stream now and I'll just, uh, you know, I'd be interested to hear your feedback. Again, if something massive has happened on Bitcoin, I'll spend an hour talking about Bitcoin. Uh, but as we are within a range here, nothing too much is happening. And the stock market and DXY, nothing is changing here, right? It's very similar to last week. So rather than just spending an hour talking about, you know, not a lot, because not a lot has changed. You know, I can start to talk about things outside of, not really outside, but connected to trading, which is not per se technical analysis that I do feel could be beneficial for you. Again, why haven't I talked about altcoins? Biggest reason is Severin. <laughs> Severin is absolutely killing the altcoins. Like this guy's on fire. Very, 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 very good at the altcoins. So um, again, but even from my perspective, you know, I'm covering the same altcoins, Dot, Atom, you know, like these altcoins that haven't also changed a lot either. So just right now, the market is not really changing. Again, you have to remember, I'm giving higher term time frame swing trade perspectives. So if the market's not changing, then I can give other perspectives, right? But yeah, for the altcoins, Severin, weekly live stream. Very good indeed. <laughs> uh, final words I'll, I'll do to wrap up. Again, we do have the World Series of Trading. So, um, you know, if you are feeling ready to trade, then of course, join. Um, yeah, yeah. That's all I say about that. If you're ready, then join the team. Um, and anything else that I'd like to say before I end here? Um, no, I don't, I suppose. I, I, I'll try and end this in the first ever time reasonably well. <laughs> I hope, no, I truly hope that you have enjoyed this stream. Um, Takeaway points. Wait for the best trades. If you take a loss, if you wait for a good trade and you take a loss, please don't be annoyed. It's, it's actually a very positive thing if you have the right mindset. Uh, do not get discouraged, even if you take 10 losses in a row. I, I, I don't want you to get discouraged 
I don't want you to think you suck. I don't want you to think this isn't for me. Um, you know, we, we, I actually remember um, someone saying that they were speaking to someone that was in trading. And, you know, every time they go to take a trade, they don't pull the trigger. Or every time they take a trade, when they finally do, they lose the trade. And uh, they said, oh, trading is not for them. You know, they're never going to make it as, as a trader. I like to think that everybody can make it as a trader. I, I'd like to think everybody has this possibility in them. Um, and I remind you that a lot of people can view me as uh, as a, you know, I do not refer to this as myself, by the way, but I've, I've seen people say, Daniel, you are the goat. You are the greatest of all time. You're a trading god. Um, but I'm not right. I'm just a normal guy, just as you are watching this or a woman watching this. I'm the same. Biologically speaking, fundamentally, we are the same. I'm not a god of trading. I am not, not anything different than you. So how did I get to where I am? I put in time. I put in effort. I took a lot of losses. <laughs> you know, I used those losing experiences as positivity, and I have a very positive mindset. Um, so I, I, I think even if I personally saw this guy that was losing all his trades felt he couldn't make it i would say you can make it but you have to make some fundamental train changes before you do and i think maybe before you work on trading work on yourself and so if you can simultaneously do both brilliant that's the that's the best space right so if i had one hour a day to learn on trading but i'm also mentally stuck i would do uh what i also learned today a 20 20 20 rule so this is from the 5 a.m club so again, I, I hate to like, I, I am taking this from a book, by the way, but a 20, 20, 20 rule that you can implement, right? Yeah. So if you have an hour of trading, but you're, you're mentally stuck, then split it into three sections, 20, 20, 20, right? So 20 minutes of working on yourself. Well, actually I would split it into 30, 30, <laughs> 30 minutes of meditation, 30 minutes of working on yourself, trying to fix these problems that you have, or at least drop them down, work them out. 30 minutes of trading. That sounds pretty good to me, right? <laughs> but I do think some people need to just remember um, the biggest or hard of part of trading is your emotions, is your psychology. So if you are in a bad place, uh, you might want to fix that or work on that before you just throw yourself in the deep end of trading. Because even if you master technical analysis, but you've still got some psychological problems going on in your brain, um, then you, you've probably still going to take trades you shouldn't take and thus lose trades and thus think, oh, I can't do this. I'm not made for this. I want to say, yes, you are made for this. Yes, you can do this. You just got to put yourself in the right place to begin. And then everything is possible. And I think I don't actually just, I could go on for ages. Right. I will just always say this. Everything is always possible. I think I think you just need the passion, the love, the want and the energy and time to put into it and i and i really feel you can do whatever you want and even if you tell yourself at that moment in time you can't you see people that are doing it it's possible there is no reason you cannot do this the only person that can stop you doing it is yourself and if you do that then you know spend some time working on yourself and come back to it in a year there's no bad thing about taking a break from trading right so if you need a break to work on yourself take a break to work on yourself come back and give another shot when you've got your mind clear um yeah i'll, I'll wrap it up with that i'm just going to say thank you ever so much we are going to make it we are the champs i love you all ever so much i truly hope i help you with these streams that's what i'm here for at the end of the day that's what i've dedicated my life to and that is uh chart champions in trading so uh yeah, I, I hope we are making a difference. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And I'll catch you in the next one. That's me signing out. Goodbye.